Tonight, morning Mandela, a nation begins saying goodbye to Madiba. A final paddle out to remember Zach Young, killed in a shark attack. Midnight nuptials kickstart a day of same-sex weddings in the ACT. And on fire, Mitchell Johnson rips the palms apart on day three. Mitch Johnson on fire. This is 10 Eyewitness News with Hermione Kitson. But first tonight, South Africans have begun saying goodbye to Nelson Mandela. Thousands have spilled onto the streets, expressing their grief and gratitude for a man who has and will continue to inspire generations. More than a week of large-scale memorial events have been planned ahead of his state funeral next Sunday. Senior correspondent Daniel Sutton is outside the Johannesburg home where Mandela passed away. Dan, how are South Africans farewelling Madiba? Well, Hermione, it's still very early in the morning in Johannesburg, but just look how many people are already here. There have been families turning up, bringing their children to lay tributes to Mandela. There have been runners and cyclists. You can't see it for the people, but behind there is a huge wall covered with floral tributes, cards and candles. It is just one part of a nationwide movement of remembrance. It is so significant. All this from a nation which 27, for 27 years kept Mandela in prison and is now planning to honour him with a state funeral. 